to say that I'm shocked is is uh, truly, you know, an understatement. We, um, gosh, I don't know. It still hadn't sank in, and it'll be a while before it does. The mode was, don't tell me you can't do that because we'll try. Why you wanna eat my cookie? <laughs> no, that sounds really bad. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Cool. This week on Headline Country, the 48th annual ACM Awards in Las Vegas. From the glitz and glamour of the red carpet to backstage with the big winners and all the nonstop action surrounding the big show, we've got your front row ticket to one of country music's biggest parties. Plus, Brad Paisley takes a moment to talk about his new project, Wheelhouse. And in a town known for taking money, stars unite in Vegas to give back. Hey everybody, we're Thompson Square. <laughs> and Headline Country starts right now. Hello everybody, I'm Stormy Warren from the parking lot in the back of the Orleans Casino in Las Vegas. Welcome to Headline Country. This parking lot packed with fans, music, and events is just another way that the Academy of Country Music is expanding fan interaction during ACM week and helping to get these people ready for the big awards. <laughs> Even before the 48th annual ACM Awards began, there were signs that it would be a big night for three buddies. On the red carpet, Jason Aldean was presented with the Vocal Collaboration Trophy for The Only Way I Know with pals Luke Bryan and Eric Church. Eric walking away with uh, with the album and us with male vocalist, Luke with entertainer, I mean, and then the three of us getting the award together. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you could draw it up any better. Luke Bryant! This is the defining moment of my life and it means the world to me and I will never take it for granted. I love you so much. To say that I'm shocked is, is uh, truly, you know, an understatement. Album of the year is... Chief Eric Church. If you had to pick one that, that I wanted, I mean, it's probably that one because that's what we based our career on before we ever got any nominations. It was about records. For me, I mean, I look back and, and think about all the people that have, you know, won that award before. To now have my name etched in, in with those guys is... That's pretty special to me. Though Eric Church was the most nominated artist this year, the night belonged to Miranda Lambert, who walked off with a total of four trophies, including single and song of the year for Over You and her fourth win for the top female vocalist. Miranda Lambert. She joins Reba and Loretta Lynn for four or more wins in the category. On stage, she paid tribute to the female artists who inspired her. I just want to say really quickly that last night, um, a huge dream of mine came true. Faith Hill last night, Grandma, she was like, have you met Shania? And I was like, you can't introduce me. Like, I can't handle that. Like, this is, my head's going to pop off and just spin around in the air for a minute. And so it was just so surreal and so humbling to just get to meet those women that have inspired me so much. Thank you so much for this. Blake Shelton shared Song of the Year honors with his wife Miranda and seemed to thoroughly enjoy sharing hosting duties with first-time co-host Luke Bryan. We can't forget some of the biggest stars of all that are with us tonight. The folks from Duck Dynasty. Oh. Now which one of them is Zach Brown? I think it turned out it was you awesome. You guys were great together. It, it was fun great. being out there with Blake. He, he is the best. Once again, the ACM split locations with the bulk of the show coming from the MGM, while another 8,000 fans packed the Orleans Casino for the fan jam portion of the show, including performances by Brad Paisley and John Mayer, Jewel, and all three top new artist nominees. In the end, it was Florida Georgia Line who picked up the most fan votes. Our fans are so amazing, we owe everything to them. Little Big Town yanked in a couple of awards for Video of the Year for Tornado and Vocal Group of the Year. Little Big Little Town! Big Town. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for giving us this moment. Thank and for the second year in a row, it was Thompson Square winning the Vocal Duo of the Year trophy. To come back and do this uh, a second year, 
Um, there's nothing short of a, of a miracle for us. I mean, we just never thought, you know, if this would ever happen to us. <laughs> With unique performances, including a rowdy collaboration between Hunter Hayes and Stevie Wonder, the spotlight was definitely on the stars, but the night truly was built around the fans. It is a blessing to me to play for fans. Thank you, country. Thank you, country radio. My wife and I look at each other all the time and go, how are we here? How is this happening? And, um, and it's, there's only one reason why it's happening, <laughs> fans. Baby, you can crash my car anytime. Thank you. Coming up, the awards are the centerpiece, but there's a lot more to ACM Week in Las Vegas than just some shiny trophies. Welcome back to Headline Country. I'm Stormy Warren, back at the ACM Experience here at the Orleans Casino. In the days leading up to the 48th Annual ACM Awards, fans were entertained around the clock with nonstop music and events, part of ACM Week. Some of the top stories we're going to feature right now in the news. We're my party people. It's huge. It's cool to see a lot of people come out, number one, to hear live music, great country music, but uh, you know, there's a bigger picture here. For the second year in a row, Big Machine Label Group, along with General Mills and Feeding America, turned their Las Vegas stomping ground into center stage for their effort to help outnumber hunger. This is the first ever Outnumber Hunger live concert, and to see everyone out there learning about the cause and enjoying the music, it's been a really great night. The initiative kicked off with a live concert from the label's star-studded roster, including Brantley Gilbert, Florida Georgia Line, Justin Moore, and headliners, the band Perry. You're ready to party for a cop! We're the base of Outnumber Hunger this year. Um, I had no idea that one in six Americans struggles with hunger. You know, when I heard the statistics, and, and I, I just didn't know that it was that prevalent. Helping is easy. Purchase any specially marked General Mills product, enter the Outnumber Hunger Code on the box along with your zip code online, and a donation will be made to your local food bank. In the land of plenty, there's still those that don't have plenty. Yeah. So tonight it is about putting a spotlight on that and, and raising awareness. Well, in country fans are the most generous that you will find. I mean, whenever you uh, point them in the right direction, they just say, okay, and how much, you know? They're really generous, and that's the great thing about all this. The way you Since its inception last year, the campaign has provided over 12 million meals. For more information on the program, visit OutnumberHunger.com. Well, great music for a great cause continued to be the theme as the two-day outdoor music festival Party for a Cause offered even more live entertainment for the Academy's philanthropic efforts. It's great, man. Chance to play music in Vegas, you know, and all these fans are fired up to just to drink and have a good time, but then to know we're raising some money for um, really great causes tonight. Uh, there's a big military aspect to the show, so I'm um, really excited. Am I the only one who wants to have fun tonight? A lot of people don't really understand that the ACM is really is, is built on being a char charitable organization. That is kind of what they're all about, and everything else is just kind of built on top of that. Hosted by Kix Brooks, fans at the ACM Experience were treated to performances by Love and Theft, Lee Bryce, Hunter Hayes, Eli Young Band, and Dirks Bentley. While the Academy's Lifting Lives Foundation presented charitable donations to several military-inspired nonprofit organizations. Just as the party was ending at the Orleans Hotel, across town, the night was just getting started as concert goers flocked to the famous Fremont Street Experience for two free nights of even more great music. I love playing any show, but I'm excited to play Fremont Street because the fans are crazy. I know the crowd's going to be great. They always are here in Vegas. It's a, it's a raucous kind of a place. My favorite part in anything we do like this is reconnecting with fans. It's going to be probably a, you know a little bit more ant than usual, but I, I like it like that. 
So I'm expecting a wild time, and I'm gonna be wild as a buck anyway. Headlined by Gary Allen and Jake Owen and featuring performances by Randy Hauser, Chris Jansen, Jana Kramer, Kip Moore, Joe Nichols, and Sonny Sweeney. The annual event has become a weekend staple during ACM week. Anytime that you're reminded that what you're doing is being appreciated, that's a great feeling and uh, I love it. You know, I got in this business a long time ago because of just loving music and now to share it with people that love it just as much as I do is pretty cool. ACM host Luke Bryan stole a few hours away from his award show rehearsals to test his mark at a friendly little competition at the first ever ACM and Cabela's Great Outdoors Archery event. We will try to uh, grow this thing every year and have more and more fun with it. We got uh, Easton Corbin, uh, Thomas Red Akins, uh, got Jason. The Robertsons are here, Willie and Jep and their wives. Kicks Brooks here. We got a great artist turnout, got a lot of fans and uh, the weather's great. We're just gonna have a little archery tournament, shoot our bow and arrows and see what can happen. The fun thing about compound bows, it doesn't take too long to figure out how they work. And uh, so it should be interesting. A lot of these guys are pretty good bow shots, so uh, they hunt a lot, so it's going to be fun. Hey, I'm just going to go out there, beginner's luck, maybe on my side. I don't care who my teammate is, I'll be ready. I'm just going to shoot my bow, shoot my arrows, hit the targets, win the competition, hopefully. Just aim real straight and hope you hit something. Anyway, and not somebody. And celebs weren't the only ones getting in on the action. Fans cheered for their favorites from the fan zone, while some of the military servicemen and women also joined in the fun. Also during ACM week, Hunter Hayes celebrated his recent success with his record label and a few Lucky Music Row VIPs by taking a spin around the track in some of the world's most prestigious high-performance cars. Plus, Nashville has the Bluebird Cafe. Now Las Vegas has the Rocks Lounge. Songwriters find an outlet in Sin City. We'll take you under the hood of both stories on the next Headline Country. Still to come, think you know Brad Paisley? Well, wait until you hear what happens when he finally got the chance to spread his creative wings.